up, guys? Back with another video, this time focusing on the HP Reverb G2 and settings and optimization. There's been a lot of discussion about the Steam VR settings for the, the, the G2, and there's some, I guess, some confusion or debate over the per eye resolution settings. Now that is this setting right here. Let me pull that up. This setting right here, okay? believe it comes to fault at 100%. There's been some discussion about putting it at 50%, being that that lines up with what the actual resolution is per eye. And then I guess using the per application function to for super sampling, all right, and uh, motion smoothing, et cetera. What I've done here, I've got the application set at 100%, and I've got this set at 50% as a baseline. I'm going to use the C172 stock in X-Plane 11. Okay, and if I look at the settings for Windows Mixed Reality, I've got that set on high and uh, 4320 by 2160 quality, the 90 uh, hertz um, uh, frame rate, okay, in the headset. Well, let's look, take a look at X-Plane 11 settings. So we've got visuals on high. Texture on high, anti-aliasing on 4x SSAA, and antiotropic filtering on right in the middle at 4x, and then world objects at medium, reflection detail minimum, and we're using Vulcan. So those are the settings that we're using. So what I want to do is I want to show you the frame rates with the C172. We're going to be at San Diego Airport, KSAN and show you the, the GPU utilization and CPU utilization. I'm using an i7-6700 CPU and a uh, EVGA 1080 Ti. I think it's an OC2 that I have. I want to make sure we've got this graphics GPU setting on Graphics 1, which is what you need to do to be able to see how x is using the, uh, the GPU. Let's get into this. I'm going to close this window since it's really not necessary. And we'll make this a little larger here so you could see. I'm going to show you the 172 at 50% steam settings. All right, so now we're at the one in the 172 on the tarmac. I'm sorry, on the runway, I should say. And um, I could tell you I'm fairly, fairly far away from the screen here, from the dashboard in VR. Things look a little bit blurry. Okay. I can make them out because my mind knows what those numbers are, but it's certainly not clear, okay? I'm probably a little further than I would be normally when flying this plane, but I want to use the same positioning each time we look at this, okay? So that's the first one. Now we're going to we're going to, we're going to shut this down now because you have to, we have to reset Steam VR, so we're going to go into Steam VR settings. And I'm going to put this up to I'm going to do do it drastically, okay? We'll go to 100 percent. All right, I want to do it 100 percent so you can see this slider is kind of funky. To get it at 100, you get it at 102. It's hard to get it. At, there it is, 100 percent. Okay, and you can see I'm not going to change the. I'm not going to change this. It stays at 100 percent. Okay, I guess the way this works is this setting here is like a super sampling on your base setting, uh, but right now we've got. At 100% per eye. All right, got to restart X Plane, restart Steam VR for these settings to take hold. So let's do that. All right, so now with the Steam VR per eye setting at 100%, I could tell you that sitting in the same position, I can absolutely read the letters and, and text on the, the uh, display now. It's uh, much more legible. So there's definitely improvement in resolution. And as you can see from the utilization, we're running at close to 100% on the GPU and the frames. Yeah, so the frames have dropped down to 24. So there's a considerable difference. So what I'm gathering from this is that somewhere between 50 and 100% is where you should be dialing in based upon your GPU. And this is after reading a few things on Reddit as well about this functionality. So. I think what I'm finding here is that 100% is not the right number for everybody and 50% is not the right number for everybody. Perhaps 50% is like the baseline, right? And then you need to find what works for your GPU, CPU combination. So I'm going to try to find that. I gu I'm guessing that it's going to be around 70% for me. So I'm going to try to find that combination. We'll go here to settings again, and we're going to drop this down to 70, not 74. We're going to go to 70. 
There's 70 percent. So let's see what that resolution is like. So let's restart this. We're going to, have to close down X plane, close down Steam VR, and we'll restart this. So I'm sitting here again at now I'm at 70 percent per eye resolution as I mentioned in Steam VR. In the sweet spot, I can read the text. I don't really notice much degradation from when it was at 100 percent. But as you can see from the utilization, now we're down into the high 70s, uh, low 80s, and our frame rate is at 30, and frame time is reasonable as well. So this is going to probably be a very comfortable experience based upon my GPU, CPU, the airplane, the area you're flying. There's a lot of factors, right? So if you're, you know, some third-party planes are going to require more GPU power. You may not be able to run the G2 at 70% in my situation for, let's say, uh, I don't know, the Torque Sim SR22 that may require more GPU power. But for, you know, for this one, for this plane in this area, which is pretty dense, I can get away very well with 70% per eye, get good resolution, and then, you know, have a good clean experience. You know, as I'm moving my head here, you can see uh, the frames are staying around 30. The GPU percentage is staying around 30. I'm going to try to experiment now with the super sampling, uh, which is this feature right here on the Steam VR. So if we go here, if we look at video, now we're, we look at per app application. So now in X plane, I'm at 100%. So I want to see what happens if I bump this up to like 120. All right. So let's try that. Okay. I'm going to try that. Now, I'm assuming I have to reset everything here again. So let's, uh, let's close out X-Plane and Steam VR, and we'll, we'll see what, if that has much of an effect. All right, so I can tell you by increasing the X-Plane specific resolution up to 120%, it seems to definitely have made a difference in the resolution in the sweet spot. And you can see that the GPU percentages are now in the mid-90s, and frame rate is you know, really solid at the 30 frames per second. So this is probably a little too high for my situation with this GPU. I probably want to dial that back. Maybe I can go to 105 or, you know, somewhere around there. I would need to tweak that to see if it makes sense. Now, I think what happens is it actually increases the size of everything, it seems like, inside the headset. So, you know, I'm still trying to find a definitive answer to, to what that's all about. I'm, I found some stuff on Reddit about it trying to put this all together unfortunately I haven't really found one place where all this information is consolidated so my hope is that this video provides some guidance for you when you're setting things up you're gonna to need to experiment I would say as a baseline depending on your GPU you want to start at 50 percent and then just bring it up by like 10 percent increments to see how much your GPU can handle in a situation where you're going to be flying most, I would say. Unfortunately, you have to restart Steam VR every time for those settings to take place. But in my situation with an i7-6700 and a 1080 Ti, it looks like 70% per eye is the right configuration. And probably this over, I guess it's oversampling in the application is probably, I want to leave that at 100% or maybe go to 105. I'm going to experiment more with that. But in any event, I hope this video was helpful. It may generate some comments and questions. What I try, I'm trying to do is simplify this and give people an understanding of what I'm learning about this new headset. So hit that like button. If you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more HP Reverb G2 content. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.